Hello there, welcome to the, uh, I guess you would call them non-lockdown diaries, day 64, 65, I know I've been absent for a few days, I've just been, uh, I guess catching my breath really, um, it feels like a weird uh, a, a, a awakening from lockdown, so I've been out with a group on the on the Himalayan and the CRF, uh, tomorrow I'm heading out on the CB500X, uh, and for the time being I'm just going through the posty bites and giving them a good uh, service and uh, they're all going to have an oil change and, and, and whatnot. So, yeah, the other day, um, it was actually re it was really nice just, just to get out. We had a great day, good sunshine, uh, and at the minute, the, the tourist crowd is, is quite thin. There's not a lot of people down in North Devon because there's not a lot open. And so we had the, be the blessing of the weather and the blessing of the quiet roads. Um, so we went out on the uh, CRF 250 rally and on the two Himalayans. Uh, both riders wanted to try the bikes back to back uh, and both favoured the Himalayan. Uh, they liked the Honda but just found it a little bit buzzier and um, not as, as composed on the road, which I, I think is, is always going to be the, the conclusion if you're looking for a predominantly road biased bike out of the two. The Himalayan does make a little bit more sense, although one of them rode the KTM 390 at the end uh, and then the next day went and ordered one. So uh, that was a, a turn up for the books. Uh, he was, I think he was just blown away by the power, the performance, the handling, uh, the suspension, the brakes, everything about it. Uh, he just uh, was bowled over by the 390 KTM and that was it, went to put his deposit down. Uh, in other news, I've just been decorating the speed shop. We've got the big uh, mural that uh, I had, it's just a, a wallpaper, so it was six, six, uh, six vertical wallpaper that I had for a show maybe six years ago. Uh, and I've just salvaged it and just popped it up on the wall just to give it a bit of colour. Uh, and then I've also got uh, just a few photos. So if anybody wonders why the speed shop is called Dorothy's Speed Shop, well, Dorothy was the Australian postal bike there and there uh, that was, was taken on this trip, uh, which I rode from Sydney, uh, Indonesia, Thailand, Nepal, India, Pakistan, China, Kyrgyzstan, Kazakhstan, and then through there to England. And then a few years later did the New York to... Uh, Alaska trip as you can see so you've got pictures Monument Valley there uh, Indonesia there Thailand Songkran Water Festival there going through Pakistan in Masawa Kameez over the Himalayas uh, top of the uh, Tanglang La which is second highest motorable road in the Himalayas again some of the conditions there tough riding that with seven brake horsepower and some steep inclines a little bit of getting off and pushing uh, Indonesia again there, uh, meeting some of the, being invited to give a quick talk at the school in Indonesia, in Sumatra, heading up to Alaska, just outside Pakistan, again Pakistan, uh, then some uh, road shots, then that was a, well, an interesting shot, I don't know if you can make it out, it's a, it's a kid on an Indonesian ferry with a gun to his head, which turned out to be a replica gun, but was uh, slightly unnerving all the same. And then uh, that's just outside Whistler, Canada, crossing the border into Alaska, somewhere on the Tet, or the Tat even, so Trans-America Trail near Colorado, Ditto, India, next to the Urinals, uh, East Timor booby trap in the road, typical Indonesian road, uh, lockdown, hairdo, 2009, uh, and then, yeah, so you've got, I'll just put my pictures up, really, just to... Give a bit of give a, give a bit of reference to Dorothy and where the name uh, Dorothy came from. If you are going to come down here, please uh, bring a sticker with you or a postcard because I am decorating the uh, toilet door with uh, the various uh, stickers. So hopefully get that covered. And again, loads more photos. So I've just been decorating really. I just want to cover some of the wood and use up some of the photos that are, that that, are, that I've got. India, some of the street scenes in India. Jumping for joy somewhere in Darwin. The day I set off, that's where it all began. On an Aussie post bike that lasted a thousand kilometers before the bottom end went. But I got all my belongings on the back there, hit the road, hoping for the best. Just over 10 years later, we've got a speed shop and uh, currently 15 bikes. And next week, six more Royal Enfield, the 650 twins are coming. So yeah, we get in there. Our life takes you on a different path, on a different course, eh? Making a decision to go. Yeah, it takes you to weird and wonderful places. Sometimes happy, sometimes sad, sometimes good, sometimes bad. 
Yeah. So that's it. If you're going to the speed shop, bring a sign. Look at this one. I think that's my favourite one. See, that, that's Dorothy there. Admittedly, she ain't got a luggage on. But then that was Michael riding his GS1200. It almost looks super uh, photoshopped. Two tyres on the back, three huge hold alls, uh, dry bags, tank bag. That bike must have weighed 500 kilos, I would have thought, or 400. So yeah, good old Dorothy. So that's where Dorothy got her name from, from the trip that she conquered with me as passenger. And now, we're talking Him Himalayans. <coughs> I've also got this in. Uh, that's not for me to ride. That's uh, a friend who um, who's bought a bike and off somebody who happens to live nearby. So uh, I, I am the intermediary. But nice, that isn't it? Lovely. Eleven hundred. Uh, I can't remember what series is K something or other. Sporty twin. Certainly more fitting of the speed ship, speed shop moniker than a one hundred five cc posty bike. Yeah, lovely that. So uh, that will go up there. Up to, I think it's uh, Wales. It's going up to. Lovely, lovely. So there we go. Uh, looking forward to a haircut. I hope everyone else is, is the same. Uh, and um, Wow, eh? A, a little br a brief taste of freedom. To ride our motorcycles. And dream of distant horizons. Uh, and see where the road might take us. Even if it's only for the day. So tomorrow, really looking forward to that. Going to get the 500X out. I'm uh, going to meet a group. Uh, Bridgewater uh, riders of Bridgewater and then bring them along this North Devon coastline, uh, do the uh, toll road just out the back of Porlock, which is brilliant, and then come on the A39 all the way down to Linton, Lynmouth, hope it's still quiet, uh, and then come drop by the speed shop for a cup of tea, and then uh, take them back out over Exmoor. Uh, good sunshine, good for weather forecast, so wherever you're heading this weekend, uh, ride safe, ride steady, but most of all just ride. I think, I think that's the motto, of it, isn't it, of this year, just ride. So hopefully we'll see you out there. And uh, going forward, I'm going to be doing some videos just on, um, I don't know, keeping the fleet running on the new interceptors, on some of the scenery where we're going. And also, if anybody's still got any topics they want covering uh, to talk about, to help them on their road, if they've got any quandaries or queries, uh, and, and just need a bit of, uh, just want me to talk about a subject, just just give us a share. I want to keep try and keep the videos going. They've been healthy, healthy for me and hopefully useful to some people. Uh, otherwise, I know there's always one person who gives me a down vote immediately after I post a video, which is fine. I mean, that's obviously been useful for them. So, uh, yeah, over and out. Cheers, bye.